welcome back to my channel this is a very tactical one see in this particular video if you've not liked my video or you've not shared it before or you've not make sure you do it this time because this is a very hectic one okay today we'll be discussing how to solve simultaneous three equations like this using metrics it's actually a very long video but stick with me because you are going to love it at the end when you're given something like this the and you're asked to solve it using metrics the first thing you need to do is you need to form the metrics of what the equations of your variables what do i mean the first thing you need to do is you write your solution yeah always write your solution hmm. <laughs> Don't mind me, don't mind me. So we are going to open the first, uh, this is the matrix we are about to form. All we need to do is we pick the coefficients of these what, variables. We have three variables here, x1, x2, x3. It could be any one, it could be a, b, c, it could be x, y, z, you understand? So, but in this case, it's x1, x2, x3. So we are going to pick what? We are going to pick the... Uh, what is it called the coefficients of the variables so for the first row we're going to pick one two one right one two one then we're going to do the same in the second row it's going to be three minus four minus two three minus four minus two and the third one will be five three and five five three and five so this is our matrix it's going to be multiplied by the a variables here are x1 x2 and x3 so it's going to be multiplied by x1 x2 and x3 and we are going to get the solution of what 4 2 and minus 1 4 2 and minus 1 okay this is the first thing you need to write all right because of the space here i'm going to name whatever i'm doing from this side okay we're going to name this particular matrix a so we're going to call our matrix a now we are going to call this x, we call it x, okay, is equal to, let's call our solutions b, that is the, yeah, b, so we call this b. If you missed, if you've not watched my video on how to solve simultaneous equation using matrix, that is when you have just two, you also need to check this channel, you are going to see it here, alright? So, in that place, I also explained in details what I'm about to do now, but it's still necessary I do it here. When you look at this now, we are interested in finding x. So, we need to make this x the subject of the formula. Yeah, some of you will be like, why not just say b divided by a? But you know it's not actually possible doing that in matrix. So, what else do we have to do? To make x the subject of the formula, that is the one we are looking for. We all know that when you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you are going to get what? An identity matrix. And when you multiply identity matrix by any other matrix, you are going to get that matrix back. So we are going to use that idea. That is, we are going to multiply both sides by what? The inverse of A. Don't worry, stick with me. I'm going to explain each of them in details. All right? So it's going to be A inverse multiplied by a and x is equal to a inverse multiplied by b okay now when a inverse multiplies a you are going to have identity matrix called i so you are going to have this to be equal to b now there is one thing about identity matrix if you actually don't know what i'm talking about check in this detail in this particular channel on types of matrix it's actually in a in a video that i made there. the name of the video is introduction to matrix to see what identity matrix is all about but one thing about identity matrix is that when you use it to multiply anything that thing remains okay so identity matrix is more or less like one yeah it's like one in layman's understanding identity matrix is like one so when one multiplies x you are still going to have your x back which is actually the essence of all this because we want to make x which is what we are looking for, the subject of the formula. So we are going to have x is equal to a inverse times b. Yeah, this can be achieved very well. We can achieve this. Now, our a inverse is what? If you actually, if you also don't know how to find inverse of a matrix, be my guest. I have it here in my in my channel. Just look for it and you are going to be happy with it. So that I have an in-depth knowledge of whatever I'm going to do here today. Okay? So A inverse is what? Is actually adjoint of A. Adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. 
adjoint of a divided by determinant of a so times our b all right so we have b our b is already here so the problem we have now is our adjoint of a and our determinant of a now let's start with determinant of a this is our a and is a three by three matrix this is how you get the determinant of a three by three matrix check it also in this channel I have also uh, thought that in details, okay? So without wasting of our time, wasting much of our time, we we'll go straight and solve the determinant of A. Now, determinant of A is this. We first of all assign this to be plus, minus, and plus. So we are going to start with plus one, okay? The determinant of A is going to be plus one. We open our words. Okay, first of all, let me indicate that we are solving for what? Determinant of A, all right? Is going to be equal to so we are going to start from plus one like i said if you don't really know what i'm doing check my channel so when we cross this and this when we cover this plus one vertically and horizontally we are left with minus four minus two three and five minus four minus two three and five okay so we go to minus two this is minus two we open our words determinant bracket as well oh. I just realized that all this while I've been teaching without my mind. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for that. Whew, this is not easy. Okay, and I, I want to manage my board. So what am I going to do? I want to start from here. So after plus one, we go over to minus two. This is minus two. Okay, this is going to be what? When you cross minus two vertically and horizontally, you're going to have three minus two, five, five. So it's going to be three minus two five and five okay then it's going to remain plus one right plus one you are going to have then when you cross this and this you have three minus four five three three minus four five and three okay now how do we get our determinant the determinant of a is actually very easy now determinant of a okay is going to be equal to this is plus one you write your one open your brackets open your brackets so the leading diagonal here is what this this minus four and five that is what you are going to multiply first i won't be wasting too much time explaining this because i've done it on a different video how to find what the determinant of a three by three matrix please be my guest and make sure you watch that video especially if you don't really understand what i'm doing here okay now the leading diagonal is four is made up of minus four and five so we multiply it first five times minus four is going to give us minus 20 so we have minus 20 minus minus two times three minus two times three okay and minus two times three is minus six all right that is what we are going to have minus two Remember, that is minus 2. Open your brackets. You do the same thing here. 3 times 5 is going to give us 15. Minus, minus 2 times 5 will give us minus 10, right? All right. Plus 1. Plus 1. We open our brackets as usual. This is our leading diagonal. Okay? So 3 times 3 is going to give us 9. Minus, minus 4 times 5 is minus what? 20. Okay. So the determinant of A now is equal to, we have one bracket, minus 20 minus minus 6 is same thing as minus 20 plus 6, yes, because minus minus is what? Plus. So minus 20 plus 6 is going to give us minus 14. So we have minus 14 here. Minus 2 into, here is going to be the same thing, 15 plus 10, minus minus is plus. So 15 plus 10 will give us 25. So we have 25 here. Okay, plus one bracket. Now, 9 minus minus 20 is as 9 plus 20, which will give us 29. So you have your 29. So our determinant of A is equal to 1 times minus 14 is minus 14. Minus 2 times 25 is minus 50. And plus 1 times 29 is plus 29. Okay, this is equal to, if we press this in our calculator, we're actually going to get minus 35. So it means that our what? Our determinant is minus 35. So we've succeeded in getting this. Now, the only issue between getting our solution and, and 
the only thing remaining for us to get the solution now is adjoint of A. So we go ahead and get adjoint of A so that we can actually get our A inverse. Now, in that adjoint of A, is going to be a long journey. Yeah. Grab your... <laughs> Make sure you grab your popcorn and pay attention. And if you... In fact, be my guest. Check in this channel. You'll see where I did it on a, on a different video, all right? Adjoint of A. How to find adjoint of a what? A three by three matrix. is actually not an easy thing. So this adjoint of a three by three matrix, you need to search for it here in my channel and watch it keenly and understand it before you come over here. But if you are still smart, you will actually understand it also from here. So right now we are going to look for adjoint of A. And to do that, we need to find the cofactors of all each of the elements of A. So be my guest and let's get to it. Please pardon me because I have um, a small board. I need to wipe everything. Bring this up. And I will only record that this is what I got as my A determinant. And then we move on. Okay, to get the adjoint of A, we are going to start by solving the cofactors of each of these elements. Now, we first of all assign this plus, minus, plus. Also check my video on, on how to calculate the determinant of a three by three matrix to know why, okay? So we go ahead and find the cofactor of plus one. So this is our first row. So for the first row, let us solve for the first row, okay? Now for the first row, the plus one is going to be plus, right? That is for one. For one is going to be equal to plus. We open our bracket. When you cross this and this, anything concerning one, vertically and horizontally vertically and horizontal you are left with minus four minus two three and five minus four minus two three and five okay so when we solve this we are going to have minus four times five is going to give us what this is going to be equal to we have plus okay then minus four times five is going to give us minus 20 minus minus two times six is what minus six so this is the same thing as minus 20 plus 6, which will give us what? Minus 14. So it means that the cofactor of 1 is what? Minus 14. So we go ahead and get the cofactor of 2. So for 2, for 2, 2 is going to be equal to, note that we have negative there. Okay, so you write your minus. Then you open your determinant bracket. Open it. So when you cross these two, Horizontally and vertically, you are left with 3 minus 2, 5, 5. 3 minus 2, 5, and 5. Okay? So, if we solve this, we are going to have minus, we open our bracket. The leading diagonal is 3 and 5, right? So, it's going to be 3 times 5, which is 15. Minus, minus 2 times 5, which is minus 10. All right? Now, when we solve this, we are going to have 15 minus minus 10, the same thing as 15 plus 10 which will give us what? 25. Now that's 25 we got. Remember that there is negative sign here. So our solution will be minus 25. Okay, we have gotten what? We have solved the cofactor of two and we got minus 25. Let's go ahead and solve for what? One. So the cofactor of one now is going to be equal to, is going to be equal to, is a positive. So we draw, we have positive here and we draw, our determinant bracket. So when you cross this vertically and horizontally, is there anything concerning this one? Vertically and horizontally, you are left with three minus four, five and three. Three minus four, five and what? Three. So let us solve this and see what it will give us. This is equal to, plus we open our bracket, three times three will give us what? Nine minus, minus four times five is what? Minus 20, minus 20, okay? All right, so when we solve this, we are going to have 9 plus 20 will give us what? 29. So it means that the cofactor of 1 is 29. So we are true with the first row. We have found the cofactor of 1 as minus 14, cofactor of 2 here as minus 12, and the cofactor of this one as what? 29. Now let's go ahead and solve for the second row. So for the second row, the second row, 
So once this is plus, this will be minus, plus, minus, okay? This place is plus, so this one will be minus, plus, minus. All right, so we go ahead and for three now, the cofactor of three, we have minus on top, we drop our minus and we open our determinant bracket. Now, if you cross this vertically and horizontally, anything concerning three, vertically and horizontally, you are left with two, one, three, five. Two, one, three, five. Oh, family, you see why I'm saying that this is actually a very long and stressful video. Please, if this is the first time you're coming across this video, can you please give me a follow, okay? Hit the subscription button, then help me to comment, share, and like, at least to give me that joy that ah, after all this stress, yes, people appreciated what I did. Please do that for me. All right, so let's continue. Now, the next thing is what we solve this. Remember that there is minus sign here. So minus, we open our bracket. I don't think this will be enough. Minus, we open our bracket. So when you take your leading diagonal, it's going to be 2 times 5, which will give us 10, right? Minus 3 times 1, which will give us 3. So this is actually equal to minus what? Because 10 minus 3 is 7. Now remember that is negative sign here. You're going to have minus 7. All right. Let us solve for what? This one is for 3. Let us solve for minus 4. For minus 4, okay, number 1 is that there is positive sign on top of it. See, minus plus minus, there is positive sign. So we are going to put that positive sign and we open what? Our determinant bracket. So when you cross this minus 4 vertically and horizontally, vertically and horizontally, you are left with what? 1, 1, 5, 5. 1, 1, 5, 5. Okay, so we go ahead and solve this. This is actually equal to, when you open your bracket, 1 times 5 will give us 5. Minus 1 times 5 will give us 5. This is actually 0. That means the cofactor of minus 4 is 0. Now, let's go for what? For this one, which is minus 2. For minus 2, we know, remember that we have negative here. So we are going to write our negative and we open our what? Our determinant bracket. So when we cross this minus 2 vertically and horizontally, you are going to have 1, 2, 5, 3. 1, 2, 5, 3. So let's go ahead and solve this. This will be minus 1 times 3 will give us 3. Minus 5 times 2 will give us 10. So it's going to be what? Minus 3 minus 10 is minus 7. That minus 7 you got minus this one. Multiply by this minus says becomes plus 7. So we are true with the second row. We are true with the second row. So let's go ahead and find what the um, cofactor of the what? The third row. The numbers in the third row. I need this space. So let me minimize it. Okay. All right. So the third row. For the third row, let's all solve for five. For five. For five, first of all, we need to what? Know the sign that will be on top of it. The last sign here is negative, so we are going to start with plus here. So it's going to be plus, minus, and plus. Okay, so it's going to be plus. So we write plus, we open our determinant bracket. And when we do that, we need to cross this vertically and this horizontally. Vertically, horizontally. So we are now left with what? 2, 1, minus 4, and minus 5. Let me clean this sign so that we don't get confused. Okay? All these signs, we don't need them anymore. All right. Let's continue. We are now on 5, right? So when we cover 5 vertically and horizontally, we are left with 2, 1, minus 4, and minus 2. 2, 1, minus 4, and minus 2. And minus 2. Now, we go ahead and solve this. What we do, we are going to have 2 times minus 4 is going to be what? We have positive here. So actually, it will not affect our, our work. So it's going to be plus, Sha. Let's just put it. We open our bracket. 2 times minus 2 will give us minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 4 will still give us another minus 4. When we solve this, it's going to be minus 4 plus 4, which will give us what? 0. All right. Now let's solve for 3. This 3 here. All right. For 3. Then, remember that there is negative on top of 3. So, we are going to write 
minus and we open our determinant bracket. So when we cover these three vertically and horizontally, we are going to have 1, 1, 3, minus 2. 1, 1, 3, minus 2. Okay? So this is going to be equal to, we write minus and open our bracket. So 1 times minus 2. Remember, you first of all multiply your what? Your leading diagonal. So it's going to be 1 times minus 2, which will give us minus 2. Minus 3 times 1, which will give us 3. So when we solve this, it's going to be equal to minus into minus 2 minus 3 is actually minus 5. And minus minus becomes plus. So the final solution becomes plus 5. All right, we are done with 3. So it's now remaining 5, the last 5. So for 5, what do we do? Check the sign we have. We have plus sign there. So it's going to be plus and we open our determinant bracket. Now we cover this vertically and horizontally. Vertically and horizontally. So we are going to have 1, 2, 3, minus 4. 1, 2, 3, minus 4. Now when we solve this, it's going to be plus. We open our bracket. Remember your leading diagonal. It multiplies first. So 1 times minus 4. We give us minus 4. Minus 2 times 3. We give us 6. Now when you solve this, it's going to be plus bracket. Minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10. Minus 10 plus multiplied by plus is still minus 10. So like this, we are true with finding what? The cofactors of what? All of this. All of the elements in this particular matrix we called A. So what do we do next? We need to gather all those cofactors and use it to form a matrix called the matrix of the cofactors. So we are going to matrix of the cofactors. So we are not going to pick all these things that we solved. Okay, for one, we are going to replace it with minus 14 that we got. So it's going to be minus 14 followed by minus 12, minus 12, sorry, minus 25, followed by minus 25, then 29, 29. That is for the first row. So we enter the second row. For the second row, it's going to be what? Minus 7, 0, plus 7. Minus 7, 0, and 7. Now for the third row, it's going to be 0, plus 5, and minus 10. 0, 5, and minus 10. Okay, you will see that we are yet to get, <laughs> we are yet to get to our destination. But this particular matrix we got now, we take us to the last step of getting the inverse of A, all right? So let's go ahead and get the adjoint, the adjoint of this particular matrix. All right, uh, permit me, I'm going to clean everything right now. Oh, we are still going. Please make sure you love this video. Make sure you like it and make sure you comment and make sure you share and make sure you subscribe. If this is the first time you're coming across my video, please. Okay, let's continue. Now, this is the matrix of the cofactors that we formed. See where it is still here. So that you people will see that it's still the same thing. So I will now clean it. Then what do we do next? For us to now get the adjoint, remember that what we're actually looking for is A inverse, right? And our A inverse is what? Adjoint of A over what? Determinant of A. Now, the adjoint of A is what we've been running around all this while to get. Now, the adjoint of A 3 by 3 matrix is actually the transpose of what the matrix of its cofactors. If you don't know what transpose is, just check my other videos, but I'll also explain it to you. So to get the adjoint of A now, we are going to take the transpose of this matrix of cofactors. Now, transpose of a matrix is actually very easy. This is what you do. So to get the transpose now, transpose now is going to be just this. We have another, we are going to open our matrix like this yeah now the row becomes the column the row becomes the column the row becomes the column row means the ones that are like this so the way they are arranged if they are arranged horizontally like this we are going to turn it vertically okay that is transpose see what i mean minus 14 minus 25 29 instead of me to write it horizontally i'm going to write it vertically that is the transpose so i will now write minus 14 minus 25 and 29. All right. So what do we do next? We transpose the second line. Minus 707. Instead of me to write it like this, I'll write it minus 70 and what? 7. 
Okay, the third line. <coughs> Excuse me. 0, 5 minus 10. 0, 5 minus 10. And this is actually the adjoint we are looking for. Yes, this is the adjoint of what? A. So our A inverse is actually adjoint over what? Our determinant. That means that our A inverse right now, A inverse now is what? Adjoint of A over what? Determinant of A. All right? So that is going to be, this is our adjoint. So it's going to be what? Minus 14, minus 7, 0, minus 25, 0, 5, 29, 7, minus 10. Okay? So this is our what? Our adjoint of A. It's going to be divided by our determinant. Remember that what we got, our determinant is what? Minus 35. So divided by minus 35. All right? This is also equal to 1 over. This is also equal to 1 over minus 35. In brackets, we bring this. That is 1 over minus 35 multiplied by our adjoint. Yeah, it's still the same thing. We've not changed anything. So it's still equal to this minus 7, 0, minus 25, 0, 5, 29, 7, minus 10. Whew, not easy. Okay. So we go ahead and keep solving. So this is our A inverse. Remember that all this while, what we are trying to do is this. Remember that our X is what? A inverse times B. Now, what is our B? Please check your notes. You notice that our X is what? Is actually X1, X2, and X3. All right? Is equal to. Now, remember that our A inverse, all of this is our A inverse. So we are going to write 1 over minus 35. We open our brackets, we write this. Minus 14, minus 7, 0, minus 25, 0, 5, 29, 7, minus 10. Okay. So this is our what? Our a inverse. Now, what is our B? And our B is what? 4, 2, minus 1. 4, 2, minus 1. All right. We are getting closer and closer to the solution. Now, let's solve. Our x1, x2, x3 is equal to what? So, first of all, let's multiply this by this. If you don't actually know how to multiply two matrices together, I have a detailed video in this particular channel as well on how to multiply two matrices together. B2 by 2, 3 by 3, any other type of matrix, okay? Please stick with me and watch this to the end, please. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So we are going to have 1 over minus 35. Then we are going to start multiplying. The only way to do this is your row is going to multiply your column. Your row will multiply your column. The first we multiply the first, the second we multiply the second, the third we multiply the third. And as they are multiplying, you are adding them together. Like I said, check that video for a detailed uh, explanation, please. So this is minus 14 times 4. Minus 14 times 4 is going to give us minus 56, okay? So we have minus 56 plus minus 7 times 2 We give us what? Minus 14 plus 0 times minus 1 will give us 0. All right, so we continue. The second row now, you do the same thing the way you did it here. So minus 25 times 4, we give us minus 100. Plus 0 times 2, we give us 0. Plus 5 times minus 1, we give us minus 5. Okay, we go over to the third row. The first to the first, second to the second, third to the third. All right, so 29 times 4, we give us... <sighs> Notice that there is a difference here. I actually have been solving something. I noticed I made mistakes somewhere. I had to clean it and start afresh. God. Okay, let's continue. Ah, 29 times 4, we give us 116, right? So 116 is what we are going to write here. This is 116, all right? Plus 7 times 2, we give us 14. Plus minus 10 times minus 1 is actually 10. Okay, so what do we do next? We need to calculate what we have. We have x1, x2, and x3 is equal to 1 over minus 35 into... Now, minus 56 minus 14 is actually minus 17. So we have minus 70 here. 
minus 100 minus 5 is minus 105. Then 116 plus 114 is 130 plus 10 is 140. Oh, God. I'm so far, though. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So we are going to continue with what we have here. You know that this is the same thing as minus 70 divided by minus 35, minus 105 divided by minus 35, and 140 divided by minus 35. So we go ahead and write that our... So we go ahead and write that x1, x2, x3, okay, is equal to... This is going to be what? Minus 70 divided by minus 35. Then minus 105 over minus 35. And 140 over minus 35. All right. So our x1, our x2, and our x3 is going to be equal to minus 70 divided by minus 35. We give us what? 2. Then this divided by this, we give us 3. And this divided by this will give us minus 4. Now, by comparison, by comparison, you are going to have that x1 is equal to 2. So our x1 is equal to 2. Our x2 is equal to 3. x2 is equal to 3. And x3 is equal to minus 4. And x3 is equal to minus 4. We have finally gotten to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a lovely day.